We're going to practice solving some trig problems with just some basic triangles. You need to look at the triangle, make sure it's a right triangle first of all, because that's when trig really applies. And uh, pick a corner you're going to stand at. Usually stand at the corner you know or the corner you want to know. Never stand at the 90. None of this stuff really makes sense if you stand at the 90. So stand at one of the acute corners. So in this example, we would want to stand at corner A because we know that that angle is 29.35. You then have to determine what you got. Opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse. Well, we the 5.8 is the hypotenuse, so we're going to want to use a formula that has hypotenuse. And the x is opposite, so you want to use a formula that has opposite and a hypotenuse in it. Opposite means across from. So opposite and hypotenuse means use sine formula. Um, by the way, the other word adjacent. Adjacent means, what's it mean? It means next to you. It's the wall next to you. And the hypotenuse is always called the hypotenuse, never an adjacent. All right, so let's solve that one problem we had. So we are going to stand at the 29. We have x and 5.8. We know that's opposite. So that's going to be sine of 29.35 equals opposite over hypotenuse. All right, we've got to solve that. Um, cross multiply is the kind of thing we're going to always do. So you're going to multiply both sides by 5.8. So that that cancels, and you got a 5.8 here. So you have 5.8 times the sine of 29.35. Now it's just a calculator problem. So put that thing in your calculator, and you should find out that x equals, make sure your calculator is on the degree mode, not the radian mode, x equals 2.8 Let's get at least three or four digits in there. Right, so here's our second problem. We have a, a x and a hypotenuse. Um, we're going to stand at the 65 because it's written for us. We know it. We could stand at the other one if we wanted to, but we would have to figure out what angle it is. Not that hard, but it's just a step we don't want to do. Um, so we're standing at 65, so x is adjacent to us. It is next to us. And the 9.05 is a hypotenuse. So adjacent me and hypotenuse means use the cosine formula. So use cosine 65 equals x over 9.05. Cross multiply and get. Boom, you get that. And then punch that in your calculator and get. You get 3.825 if you're going to round to four digits. Next problem, we've got an x over there, we've got an 8.86, you know, right there. We've got a 27.61 for an angle. We have opposite and adjacent, which means we need to use tangent. So tangent 27.61 equals opposite over adjacent equals x over 8.86. Cross multiply, punch in calculator, and you would find that x equals 4.634. Now your double check is that that side, 4 point something, um, that's the small side. And the small side is always across from the smallest angle. Just like the longest side, your hypotenuse, is always across from your largest angle. So we've got another problem here. We've got a 50.05 angle. We've got an X on the hypotenuse. And we've got a 7.14 that is across from or opposite the 50. So that means you sine because it's opposite in hypotenuse. Sine equals 505. Sine of 505 equals 7.14 over x. Cross multiply, which means you're going to multiply both sides by x. Kind of thing. Cancel. And you have x times the sine of 505. We're not done solving it because we still got something with x. So we got to divide by the sine of 505. On both sides. And put that into the calculator. 
x equals 7.14 divided by the sine of 50.05. And you should get that x equals 9.314, which is good because it should be the longest side. All right, one final example. Let's solve for an angle. So we know two sides, but we don't know corner B. So same kind of thing. We're just going to have the variable in a different place now. So we have an adjacent and a hypotenuse, so that would be cosine. So there's the formula we get. Cosine B equals 7.42 over 9.64. B is just saying it's a variable, and it's where at corner B. Oftentimes, you're going to have to get used to this. We're going to start using Greek letters. Alpha, beta, gamma, theta is often used for angles. All right, so how do we undo a cosine? Because cosine is with the B. It's not cosine times B. It's cosine of B. Cosine's a function. It's an operation. So we have to undo cosine. How you undo a cosine is that second function thing on your calculator, that inverse button. We have to use an inverse cosine to both sides. So you apply the inverse cosine to both sides. So you're going to get that B equals cosine inverse of the fraction 7.42 over 9.64. Put that in the calculator. So in the calculator you go that and you find that B equals 39.67 degrees. Yes, we found the degrees of the corner. Next video, we're going to have some word problems that aren't just simple triangles. We've got to find the triangles.